Um, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, so I'm out and about taking care of some business. I hope you guys can hear me clearly. Uh, sorry if you hear like cars passing by. Us. I wanted to talk to you guys about the Ryan Apex. What's going on with the Ryan Apex, man? So you know when the Ryan Apex was announced, I found out from Old Man Den, and Old Man Den was super excited because it was gonna be the first Ryan with the prize be made available for a lot of us out there because the price of the Ryan have been one of the discouraging factor from a lot of us buying it because the Ryan are really nice they look really good lightweight everything electric scooter should be it's just the price points what makes it absolutely not appealing to a lot of us on the market for electric scooter so this first Ryan the Ryan Apex was supposed to be about five thousand dollars our old man then showed it in his video I put up that video and I put it for you guys to, uh, to see it was the Ryan Apex okay a five thousand dollar scooter from ryan that you can ride against the old re 90s the thrust in, in it was about four thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars we just ran it up to five thousand we were excited we were like, man i'm gonna get this i even i messaged them i'm like when is this gonna come out what's the specs i'm interested let's go so fast forward this was in 2021 Fast forward to now, 2022, Alien Ride collaborated with Ryan to start making Ryan Apex just to uh, make the process a little bit faster because you guys uh, know that when you're trying to order from Ryan, it takes forever for you to actually get the product in your hands. And when I say it takes forever, I'm not talking about a month. I'm not talking about a couple of weeks. I'm talking about almost a year. So people have waited a year just to get their hands on on the Ryan. This Apex was going to be faster and Alien Ride was going to co uh, collaborate with them to help produce it and, and get it in our hand as fast as possible. But the big issue here is the fact that that price that was mentioned is no longer being honored. Now they are charging $7,000. They went from $5,000 to $7,000. That's crazy. And I, I, I was, they, because they sent me an email, like I told you guys, I was interested because this is one of the scooters that I would like to have in my collections. I am not going to pay that. I know the way that Ryan's are built. I, I, I love the quality of it, but it, to me, it is not worth $7,000 because they put it on that price of $5,000. And I believe that's what it's worth. So I am not going to pay an extra $2,000 in this crazy economy just for that. That completely turned off all the appeal for that electric scooter. And I want people to understand something. If you are interested in getting this Apex, go ahead. That's fine. I'm not discouraging you from getting it. But you need to understand something. Once you start agreeing to pay high prices for electric scooters that should not be that high, other companies would then take this as an example that you're willing to pay such a high amount for electric scooters like that and they will start the next do trans that are gonna come out it's not gonna be affordable for you it's gonna be the same price of a car you have to understand most of these electric scooters are about to start costing ten thousand dollars and in the future we're gonna have electric cars that are worth twenty five thousand i've seen some of them they even get charged by solar so you don't have to even plug it in and do all that stuff so if those cars are costing $25,000, a car that you can carry people, you can carry groceries, you can do a lot of stuff with, and these people are trying to charge almost half the amount for an electric scooter. So it's crazy to me. There's no way to justify it. And at the end of the day, most of these electric scooters that end up copying these guys and charging you a lot of money, their parts might be assembled in the USA. You might say it's made in the USA, but all the stuff is actually made in China and assembled in the USA. So I just want you guys to be very careful if you're encouraging this behavior and you're going out there and you're, because you got that money and you're, you're throwing it in. Some of us don't even have that money. You put it on a credit card. I'm fudging in credit card debts because I'm trying to support this dream because I believe electric scooters are the future. So you guys just be careful. I'm not interested in the Ryan Apex until they have reduced the price to something uh, that all of us can easily afford, make payments on, and not be in credit card debts because you're riding an electric scooter. That's not something I'm interested in. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think. If you think that price is too high, or if you think that they should honor the price that they put out in the first place.